Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your How Does He or She Feel About Me reading. Uh, and if you guys remember, this reading was done in September, October 2017. And what I want to do is I want to do these readings, these type of bonus readings, sort of every three to four months. So October, November, December, uh, January. So we did it, yeah, four months ago. So it's nice to have a little bit of a catch up and a bit of an up down. I think it would be good to do that sort of every three to four months, get a little bit of a catch up. And I really love doing these readings because they're so nuanced. And for those of you guys who haven't seen this particular reading. This is a reading where we focus on um, how somebody in particular is feeling about you. So what I want you to do, though, is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about the person that is the person of interest to you. So the person that you're thinking about, you might be with them, you might not be with them, but I want you to think about this person. I want you to think about, well, how does this person think about me? How do they feel about me? And I want you to close your eyes and I just want you to think that right now, okay? What we Before we start though, we've got the, um, we're using the Witch's Tarot, which I adore by Ellen Dugan. We're using the advice cards of the Romance Angels and the Angel Answers and your Clarifier deck is the Tarot to go. Um, small, uh, handsome Roberts deck that we're gonna be using for the Clarifiers, okay? And for those of you who haven't seen this reading before, Virgo, you'll see how it works as I go through the reading. So we're going to put uh, this these decks to the side. I'm sorry that you can hear noise outside. Every time I try recording, there's somebody around in a van or something. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think and picture and view. I want you to think about that person. I want you to hold a picture of that person in your head, Virgo the person that you're thinking. So I want you to hold a picture of them in your head and say, how are they feeling about me at the moment? I want you to do that privately. Just close your eyes while I meditate on the cards. Universe, breathe. How does this person feel for Virgo? So the person that Virgo is thinking about, what are this person's feelings towards Virgo? Firstly, universe, I want you to show me who this person is in position one. I want you to show me what their attributes are in position two. I want you to Show me what their flaws are in position three. Show me how they see the, uh, Virgo. Oops, did I see? How does this person see Virgo and how do they feel about Virgo in position four? How does Virgo see this person and how do they feel about this person in position five? What is the strength in the relationship between Virgo and this person in position six? And what is the weakness in this relationship between Virgo and this person in position seven? And what is the potential for them to have a healthy relationship in position eight? Uh, position nine, can you show me what is the overall analysis of this relationship? Stroke outcome and position 10, what would be the roadblocks to uh, Virgo and this person having a healthy relationship, show me. Alright, so we're going to split the deck into three like so, one, two, three. We're going to collect it back up like so. And what we're going to do, Virgo, now I shoveled this way, and if I were going to lay down the cards exactly this way, you'd be seeing everything upside down. So we've got to put it this way, so that the cards, because the way that I'm recording is my camera is facing towards me. So I've got to lay the cards the way that I shuffled them, so you guys can see them. I see everything on the desk upside down, but I have a monitor in which I can see everything the way that you guys are seeing it, okay? So this is who they are right now. This is their, um, this shows what their attributes are, this shows their flaws. This shows how they see and feel about you, Virgo, and this see shows how you how you see and feel about them. Uh, this is the strengths in the relationship. This is the weakness. This is the uh, potential for a healthy relationship. Uh, this card here is the overall analysis, straight possible outcome, and this is the roadblocks to you having a healthy relationship with this individual. Okay. With that being said, and we'll use the clarifiers afterwards. So let's have a look at who this person is right now in their lives. So, right, this person has walked away, the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups shows when somebody's walked away and they're in search of something else. So I think that this person's, I mean, it's funny on the Witch's Tarot because the Eight of Cups are stacked up so beautifully. They're all in, which to me then says to me that this isn't about and uh, just you know, a, a relation, because on the other cards, on the other decks like the Rider right Waite, you often see the Eight of Cups and it's stacked unevenly, which suggests that somebody's walking away from a very sort of 
fragile and unstable uh, a relationship. So, you know, the, the cups are all about our emotions. And with those eight cups on the rider weight being, rider weight being so stacked so unevenly, for me, those feelings are kind of like uneven emotions. They're not balanced and somebody needs to gain perspective. So sometimes this can be somebody's just taking a break because they need to gain perspective. But with the cups being so stacked evenly, four on four, for me this is kind of saying this person's kind of done. They're done with the situation. I think that the person that we're thinking about or you're thinking about looks like they're done or they've been searching for, or they've gone away to, or they've taken a break or distance because this can be somebody who's emotionally distant. So it might be this person's a little bit emotionally distant at the moment. It might be that they've taken a break to gain some perspective and it might be that they're actually done with the situation. What is their attributes? Well, they are the four of coins, okay? So their attributes are that they, um, with the four of coins as an attribute, you tend to hold on to things that you value. So I think the attributes are that this person holds on to things that it truly, truly values. If something is, and when we talk about value, we look at the general word of the coin. So it's not about, you know, this person as an attribute, they might be quite affluent as a person, they might have their own home, they might be quite steady, they might have a steady income, they might have a good job, and those are all commendable things for anyone. But also the four of coins as an, um, coins as an emotional thing, we have to look at the value that comes along with the coin. So what is it, what is the value of the human being? How do you value yourself? And I think that this person, as an attribute, this person values things and he, he or she will hold on to what they consider to be of value. This is the card about being clingy. So when we look at how do we turn clinginess and greed into a positive thing? Well, we say, well, we hold on to the very things that mean the most to us and that's when we become clingy. So I think as an attribute, this person is more than likely going to be the type of person that if they think something is of value, if they think it's worth it, then they will definitely move heaven and earth to hold on to whatever that thing is. Their weakness or the flaws of this person are the star in the reverse. So I think that they tend to, and a lot of these readings, I tend to be seeing people who tend to give up very quickly. You know, they, I think that this person doesn't try because the star in the reverse means that things, something is out of reach. I mean, completely out of reach. And you've got no hope. You don't hope. You There is a great deal of doubt. So it might be that this person's quite pessimistic as a person. It might be that if they feel that something's quite doubtful, they're tending to lend themselves to, well, it's not going to work out. It's not going to happen. So why the hell should I bother? And I think that this person has a propensity to being quite pessimistic with the star in the reverse. I think that this person feels that... Uh, you know, if something seems too difficult, if it seems like a huge mountain to climb, if it seems like it's going to be a huge obstacle, then there's no way that they're going to achieve this thing. So I feel that they have a propensity with the star in the reverse to negativity, negative thoughts, doubt and pessimism. How do they see you and how do they feel about you, Virgo? Uh, well, they see you as the seven of coins. So they see you as somebody who is waiting because the seven of coins means... I've put a lot of effort and hard work into this thing. And now what I'm doing is I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the results. I'm waiting for things to flourish. So I think that they see you as somebody who is waiting. How do they feel about you? They feel the seven of coins. So I don't feel it's as such that this person is waiting. I think that they feel the need to evaluate and to assess whether you are the right person for them. The right person for them to put their time into. For them to invest their time into are you the person that's going to bring you know better days ahead for them are you the person that they are going to grow old with are you the person that they're going to have children with maybe or buy a home with or get married to it's all of those things that will be the seven of coins because the seven of coins can mean that you wait for something to happen or something to flourish or the seven of coins can say well i need to evaluate whether this is the right direction that i'm going in so i think their feelings towards you with the seven of coins are i don't think it's waiting i think it's more evaluation and they see you as somebody who is waiting so they might feel that you're waiting for a decision to come from them and that's why i feel that right now it's not that they've fully walked away but i feel that they are emo they are either emotionally distant or they're possibly just taking a break to gain a perspective on this situation. It might be because their flaws are that they tend to give up quite easily if something doesn't feel right or if something doesn't feel like it's going to fulfil an expectation because I feel that their attributes are is that they need to feel that this thing is of value to them with that four of coins showing there. Uh, how do you see and feel about this person, Virgo? 
you feel the five, the six of coins for this person. So you see them as the six of coins. I think that you see them as it's the six of coins is one of those cards, Virgo, that's extraordinarily difficult to read in terms of love because. You know, as a tarot reader, and the thing is, because I'm at such an analytical git, I think I'm just, I just think 360 degrees all the way around with every single card. You know, you might feel that this person is quite charitable. So you might see them as quite a charitable individual because the Six of Coins recognises the word charity, giving, compassion. You might see them as being quite compassionate. You might see them as being quite giving. But the thing with me and the problem that I've always had with the Six of Coins card is that there are two people that this person is giving to. That's always been my major, major problem, which is why I often look at this card and I see the word player on the card. Because this can be somebody who looks at people as being flavour of the month. One minute they'll give to this dude and the next minute they're going to give to this dude. So you might see them as somebody who has divided loyalties, for example. Because the Six of Coins can be about divided loyalties. It can be that the one minute you're flavour of the month, but there's always somebody else waiting in the wings. This can be somebody who gives things, they give their time and their attention, but it's only partial. They're not giving everything. So it might be that you see this person as that type of person. Some of you guys, you might see this person as giving, okay, generous. It might be generous in terms of a financial aspect as well because it's a financial card. But it could also be that you see this person with the six of coins as being somebody who's got divided loyalties as well and somebody who might be a bit of a player and also being somebody who, uh, you know, one moment they're all over you, the next minute they're only giving you partially their time. How do you feel about them? You feel the six of coins to them. So you feel for them the Six of Coins. I still feel that you feel very open and you feel very generous towards them. And you're very open to receiving. I would say that you feel very open to receiving with this card, Virgo, from this individual. What are the strengths of this relationship? The Empress. It's beautiful. That is probably the best card that you can get in terms of the strength in a relationship. One of the best, anyway, along with cards like the Ten of Coins. Uh, Ten of Cups is another one. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Um, uh, the Lovers, another one. Justice, another one. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a good card. It's a brilliant card. The strength in your relationship is that there is kindness and there has been nurturing and there has been the propensity to feel deeply in love with each other, to share, to grow, to um, think about having children. Perhaps you and this person thought about marriage because the Empress is all about marriage. A married woman, just as you get the emperor a married man, you can get the empress a married woman. This is a stable woman, a woman who has a solid grounding in a home. She got children, she got a life, she's building a life. This relationship is very sensual. Uh, I think it's very loving, it's very sensual, it's very sexual, it's been very sexual and very sensual. You've thought about having children, you've thought about getting married probably, thought about settling down, building a home together. Uh, there's been a lot of nurturing, maybe when one of you was ill, the other one came to the other one's aid and looked after them. There's been a lot of uh, support, I feel, in this relationship. It's a brilliant card, it's just an amazing card to get for love. You. This is, uh, this is where Venus, Cupid's arrow, it's brilliant. This is the real deal when you get the Empress. And that's amazing. This is your soulmate. Empress for me is a soulmate card. It represents when you have found the one. And I think the strength in your relationship with this Empress is that you have a relationship or you've had a relationship that could have been everything. I mean everything with the Empress. It's as good as the lover's card. What is the weakness though? The Knight of Coins. Things moving very, very slowly. So the Knight of Coins energy represents when things are moving at a snail's pace. There's still a commitment to the cause because the Knight of Coins is committed to having a solid outcome. But before the Knight of Coins can get to his destination, what he needs to do is he needs to do all the paperwork. He needs to find out all the details. So he needs. He says, well, I've got a business idea, for example, the Knight of Coins, but what I need to do is I need to do a little bit of market research. I need to do everything in the, I can't, I'm not gonna cut corn, so I'm not just gonna set this thing up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the market research. I'm gonna find out how many people would buy this product. I'm gonna find out, you know, if the product is gonna work, how long it works, if it's makeup, is it gonna stay on all day? I'm gonna do everything. And that can be a process. 
So the Knight of Coins can mean, well, you want success, but it's going to be a process, a long process before you get it. And ain't nobody got time for that in a way, because this is the weakness. It's the time that this thing takes to actually develop, because you've got it all here. Your strength is the Empress energy. You've got the love, you've got the nurturing. You know, you're beautiful in each other's eyes. There's the sex, there's the, you know, the long-term view for how perhaps there's been marriage or the thought of marriage. For some of you guys, it might be that you're already married with the Empress energy to this person. It might be that you've already got children for this person or you're having a baby for this person or whatever. But there's something quite beautiful and strong in the emotion and the long-term perspective of this relationship with that Empress energy. But the problem is, it's how long it's taking to get there with the Knight of Pentacles. And therefore, the overall, or the, the uh, potential for this to be a healthy relationship in the future is the Five of Swords. Well, no, there's not a potential so far with that. Because what you've got is dispute as your potential for a healthy relationship. You've got conflict going on here because and I think the conflict it makes kind of sense to be honest with you Virgo because on the one hand you have the empress that says well the strength is you've got all of this love you've got all of this health you've got all of this beauty you've got all of this sensuality all of this loveliness within this relationship but you know the weakness is the flaw in this relationship is how long is it fucking taking to get there? Or the weakness is, well, how long is it going to take for this person to propose? Because you get cards like Knight of Coins, Page of Coins, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Any cards you see a hand holding something out, that can be a proposal. So the weakness might be that this person's not proposed. Or how long does it take for this person to propose? You know? Are they going to propose? And that's why the potential for a healthy relationship is it might be that you're at loggerheads or there is conflict because Five of Swords shows minor disputes and conflicts sometimes. Sometimes it shows one person who's taking advantage of the other, one person who feels rendered powerless at the hands of another individual in the relationship. And I'm seeing that the potential for a healthy relationship is showing the Five of Swords conflict. Now, the overall analysis of this relationship, Virgo, is... But it's good because you should have victory here. You should overcome any tumultuous energy that is servicing in this relationship with the Six of Wands energy. You should have success, victory, and also recognition, especially if your strengths are this, but this is taking a long time to happen. And the potential for a healthy relationship are disputes. Well, it says, well, the overall analysis outcome should be you'll get through that with the Six of Wands. You should get your victory. But your obstacles in this relationship to it being completely the way that you want it to be is the Ace of Coins. It's commitment. Will somebody be committed for the long term with that Ace of Coins? That's the obstacle. Getting the absolute slam dunk commitment from this individual, Virgo. That's the problem. You know, because you could have victory. The overall outcome is you're going to have victory. You're going to have what you want. You're going to have the reward that you want. Because the relationship is based on... You know, the strength is the Empress, and that's one of the best cards you can get for love. One of the best. Trust me on that one. It is definitely, definitely Ten of Coins, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Lovers, Star. Uh, all of those good, good, good-ass cards. They're amazing for love. The Empress is amazing for love. Hierophant can be a great card that shows commitment and marriage, that type of thing. You know, magicians, they're quite good as well, in a way. They're usually just showing the start of something that I find with magician energy. But this is where you're starting to really build something amazing. But it's taking a long time, you see, to come to fruition. And therefore, you've got the conflict. But you can overcome that. However, the ongoing thing is going... And you can see there are pentacle cards. Pentacles show cautious, long-ranging attitudes. Things that take a long time to develop. So your obstacle to having a healthy relationship is the Ace of Coins literally building this commitment up for the long term. Let's get some clarifiers on these areas. And I, don't th I think it's either that this person's taken a bit of a break or they're trying to gain some perspective with the age of... Because I want to see why this person shows us the, the person you're thinking about, Virgo. God, I hope I'm not calling you Taurus or anything. I keep getting that word in my mind, but you're Virgo. I'm reading for, for Virgo. So let's have a look at why this person is the Eight of Cups. Why is the person that Virgo is thinking about the Eight of Cups? In two cards, please. Why is the person that Virgo is thinking about the Eight of Cups in two cards? Right, the High Priestess. So this person might be keeping some information. 
Okay, so information is being released because you've got an Eight of Wands. Okay, um, and the Eight of Wands is about release. So there's information here and there's release, releasing information. I see the Eight of Rods. It's not just about communication. Um, it might be that they are holding back on communication because High Priestess shows somebody who's holding back. But information also with this Eight of Rods can show that there's information a hidden information that's coming out or being released, okay? So I feel that this person here right now is trying to gain some perspective because I feel that the situation is about them telling you the truth. I think that they need to unveil or uh, be honest or confess. I'm seeing a confession here because the high priestess often means, well, it's difficult for me to speak. Usually if you get a ten of wands, for example, and a high priestess, this can be somebody who's hiding the truth or they're hiding how they truly feel. Okay, but this is the Eight of Wands is often a card about release. So I feel that this person right now is trying to gain with the Eight of Cups. They might be acting emotionally distant, they might have taken a break, or it might be a case of they're just trying to gain some form of perspective by detaching themselves slightly. Because I feel that with the High Priestess, I wouldn't say this is another person, even though High Priestesses can be other people in secret people, but we don't want to go down that road. We don't necessarily have to think that way. I think that the High Priestess is this. Is, it's all about hidden information. They need to tell you something. The Eight of Rods means to release it and the High Priestess is what is hidden. So I think it's because they need to tell you something. They need to unveil or come out with something that they've not told you before. And I think that they're kind of taking a little bit of a break or they're being detached because they're contemplating having to do this. Uh, Virgo, there's something that they need to tell you here. Okay, And you do have judgment showing there as well. Okay, so I think that there is something hidden that needs to be released that will bring a judgment in. It will bring some form of renewal or it will bring some form of something to light because the judgment card means bringing things and facts to light. So there's something that they need to bring to light concerning you, showing there in those, um, in those cards. Uh, why is this person showing as being the four of coins in their attributes? Why is this person showing as being the four of coins in their attributes because justice so justice is all about rewards and feeling a sense of um, alignment with the justice energy okay so justice okay I think that a decision that they made brought some form of an ending because you've got two majors here and justice is all about making fair decisions and the death card means change. So making a big decision brings some form of a change. I don't think it's the end of justice, for example. Or it could be, you know, we could read this in an amalgamation of ways. But I think that this person needs, I think the attributes are, is that they tend to stick to their guns. They're not easily swayed. And I don't think that they're easily chained. Okay. And I think it's because with justice, I think justice is them. I think that the Justice card is saying because if they were to be easily swayed and they were to easily ignore what their belief system is with this Four of Coins, it would mean that whatever it is that they believe in with the Justice energy, whatever traditional ideology or thoughts they've been brought up with, this would can be completely at an end. It means that they would have to, uh, how can I explain? It means for me this person would have to completely ignore and wipe out everything that they believe in as a person. And I don't think that this person wants to do it. I think that this person is very kind of moral. They come across as a very moral individual. And I think that they stand up by their morals. I'm getting with these two cards, with these three cards. I think this is a very moralistic person. And I think that they truly stand by their morals because their weakness is the star in the reverse. And let's have a look at why their weakness is the star in the reverse. Well, the Five of Cups represents loss and sadness. Okay. Okay. Brings Knight of Swords, brings anger or brings changes, rapid changes. Okay. Or the need to make rapid changes. So I feel that their weakness is that they tend to give up on situations quite easily. Okay. And I think that the, uh, the reason for that is because I think in the past this person lost I think that they lost an individual, and I think they might have lost a Gemini. Um, uh, they might have had some bad news in the past from an individual. Knight of Swords can be a news card, and this can be a bad card. Five of Cups. This can be bad news or negative news that they might have had with this Knight of with this Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords energy. Um, I 
I think this person had some bad news come in. Uh, or they lost something here, this Five of Cups. Uh, it might have brought some arguments in the family. I think that there was some disruption that happened in a relationship with those three cards. And that's why their flaws are that they seem to have a propensity to doubt situations, that, that to doubt that things can actually be different, to doubt that things can actually be successful and be positive. Because I think that this person actually gives in to the negative, it would seem to me here. I think this person that I'm looking at, you're thinking of, Virgo, they give in to the negative. And I think that they might have had some bad news, for example, within the family, with the Ten of Pentacles shown there. The Ten of Pentacles is the family card. It talks about a long-term relationship or a marriage. There might have been some arguments, the Knight of Swords, within a relationship here that brought a great deal of loss. Because the Five of Cups is showing the reason why this person, their flaws are the star in the reverse. They tend to doubt or give up on relationships or on situations. is because I feel that there was a great hurt that this person experienced. Okay, it might be that they had an abusive relationship. The Knight of Swords can show a bully. There might have been a bully within a long-term relationship. They might have had an abusive relationship that brought around a great deal of loss. And I think that they had a tumultuous relationship with somebody in these cards here. Virgo. And that's why this person doesn't trust. I think the star in the reverse says that this person has a propensity not to trust because they have more of a propensity to doubt rather than trust. And it's because they had a terrible time in a relationship in the past. And that's why their attributes are, that they keep things close to their chest. They're very, very guarded. Because I feel that justice, they've made up their mind. And if they weren't to be this way, it would be that, you know, whatever it is that they have made their big decisions on concerning relationships going forward, it would all come to nothing with the death card. It would be completely over all of the hard work that they've put into themselves all of the decisions that they've made of the back of whatever it is that's happened here, it would all come undone if they were to make a wrong move. And that's why this person right now, I think, has to gain a greater perspective. Because the High Priestess, they know that there is something that they've been hiding that needs to be released. But this could bring about a huge, huge change. Because the Judgment card also means a change, it means a new phase. So whatever it is that they need to say to you, they know that it's going to bring in a huge life change. But I think it's because this person's been hurt. And I think that it's been very difficult for this person to build up a certain element of trust with other people, Virgo. The Seven of Coins is how they see you. So they see you as somebody who will wait, I feel. But also they feel about you that they need to evaluate whether they want to uh, invest in this relationship. And I'm going to see why that is in two cards. Why is it that this person sees uh, Virgo as the Seven of Coins? And why do they feel the Seven of Coins for Virgo, Shaman? Because the Four of Swords. So I feel that they've had time to contemplate um, the Six of Cups. Okay, It might be that they feel the Seven of Coins for you. They feel that they need to evaluate whether they want to invest in this relationship. It might be that they took a pause from the relationship with the Six of Cups. Four of Swords can be where you take a break or a pause from a relationship and this is a relationship. So they might take a pause from that. It might be that they see you as waiting as well because I think this person's taken a pause from the relationship with you. So they see you as somebody who will wait, Virgo. Okay, But also they feel because you will wait, they need to have the time to evaluate whether they want to invest in this relationship because they've taken a break from this situation here. And also they've taken a break from looking at the relationship I feel with rose-tinted glasses. Uh, you see them as the Six of Coins and you feel the Six of Coins for them. So why does Virgo see this person as the Six of Coins and why do they feel the Six of Coins for Virgo? And why does Virgo feel the Six of Coins for them? Right, because of the Hermit. So the Hermit represents somebody who's seeking or somebody who's withdrawing. Okay, so a withdrawal. This person who's withdrawn has caused a great deal of worry. So I feel that you see them as somebody who has divided loyalties and somebody who is only partially investing in this relationship. And I think it's because, I mean, we could have read you Virgo as the Hermit. Hermit is a Virgo card, okay? It might be that because you have been seeking, your time of seeking in a reflection around this situation, Virgo, might have brought in a great deal of worry to you with that Nine of Swords. You might have evaluated with that Hermit energy that this person's causing you a load of pain, a hell of a lot of pain here. 
with that nine of swords energy and i also feel that you your feelings for this person are the six of coins okay um and i think the feelings are that maybe just maybe you only want to invest partially you can only give only a part of who you are now in terms of this relationship because i think that you're the hermit i think that the time that you spent out of this situation has made you uh worry and has made you feel scared about the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles funnily enough is, is uh, also a virgo card it's about you're worrying about whether you can commit to this for the long term so maybe this is you i forgot the knight of pentacles is a virgo card i think the weakness is your loyalty i think your weakness is your loyalty because i'm reading virgo Virgo is Hermit, Virgo is Knight of Pentacles. You show up both times. So I think the weakness in this relationship is you and your loyalty and the fact that you're standing true in this situation, regardless of what this person's done. And I think that this is you here. So I feel that you see them as a six of coins. They've got divided loyalties and they're only giving partially off themselves or they've only given partially off themselves to you. Because I think that you have evaluated with that Hermit card that this person, I think what you've come to know and what you've come to understand, because the Hermit card means understanding and coming to a place of knowledge. So I feel that Virgo, what you've come to know and what you've come to understand with this Hermit energy is that this person has caused you a whole heap of worry and now the worry is about whether you can commit for the long term because the weakness is, is that you have been completely loyal to this and you've been standing in there strong no matter what. And also, you feel for them the Six of Coins. So you feel, well, maybe I can only partially give of myself to this individual. Because what you have intuited with this Hermit energy is that you are actually worried. What you've come to understand is that you are actually worried about trying to invest in this relationship for the long term. Because all you guys are looking at in the future is this person perhaps blocking you out. Or you're looking at future struggles with this individual with those cards. What is the strength in this relationship between Virgo and this person, the Empress? Why is the future, why is the strength in this relationship, the Empress, between uh, Virgo and this person, showman? The hand went in the reverse, okay. And the, oh God, that's interesting. And the four of coins. Both cards mean that somebody won't change. That's interesting. So I'm going to try and break that down. How interesting is that? It's because the hand ran in the reverse. Hand ran in the reverse says, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on this situation because I'm, I'm seeing clinginess in both cards. Because hand ran in the reverse means the refusal to surrender, to listen to anyone or anything. If there's a complete and utter self-belief in what you're doing, there's no surrender here, I'm not giving up. That's what hand ran in the reverse. There's a, it's a reluctancy. I think there's a reluctance to let go with the four of coins. And that's why the strengths are the empress. So I think for the both of you, to be perfectly honest, that this the strengths are that you do both care about one another. I think there is a strong care that you and another individual have for one another. I think there is a deep, deep love that one of you guys, that you guys both have for one another. It might be a marriage that is, that, you know, at the core of it, there is a deep love and deep respect in terms of a marriage here with the Empress energy or just a deep love for one another, a deep love. Because I feel there is a reluctance with this hanged man in the reverse. Or you are determined with the hangman in the reverse to hold on to this situation, the both of you. So there is that there showing up. However, the weakness is the knight of coins. Now, I'm probably going to read that as you, Virgos, as being the weakness. Why is the weakness the knight of coins in two cards? Why is the weakness the knight of coins? Because the king of swords, this might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, I think that this person is the king of swords. I think the weakness is that your dedication to this. And I think that this person, I think it's because of this person, the king of swords, showing us the king of swords energy. I think that this person is, with this page of pentacles, I think that they're being quite cautious. It's not that they're not interested. I just think that this person is being more cautious about the situation. King of Swords can also show somebody who is emotionally detached. So it might be because there is an individual who is detached from the idea of proposing something going forward. Or they're detached from the idea of fully investing maybe or fully working on 
this relationship with you with the page of pentacles energy it might be that this king of swords here is learning something with the page of coins energy because page of coins is a student okay It might be that this person is learning with this page of pentacles or even assessing because this is a card of assessment. So it might be that your weaknesses you are holding on still, Virgo. And the weakness is that because it might be that this king of swords here is learning with that page of pentacles or assessing, ending this cycle with you. Because it could be that they're tired, seven of coins. They're tired of kind of trying to make something work here and need to move on from that. They need a chance to distance themselves from the situation showing here. Why is the potential for a healthy relationship between Virgo and this person, the Five of Swords? Why is the potential for Virgo and this person, the Five of Swords, for a healthy relationship? Show me two cards. Well, the Eight of Swords shows up, as you can see there. So somebody feels limited, somebody is feeling trapped. Somebody cannot express their feelings because the Eight of Swords means I can't be expressive, I can't show. And this is about feelings. So I feel that somebody in this relationship finds it difficult to express their feelings with the King of Cups energy here. Okay. Um, And I think, in a way, there is a need for this person to detach themselves, the Queen of Swords energy, from what they would consider perhaps to be a karmic tie. The Devil card can mean karmic ties. And I feel that the Queen of Swords would be the type of person that would detach herself emotionally from what she knows is a very strong bond. Devil is also, for me, another soulmate card within the tarot. It's soulmate twin flame. For me, this is the strongest of all the soulmate cards. Because when you get that devil, if you get that devil hooked into you on love, you're fucked. You are fucked. If there is love in a relationship and you've got this as your guide in the tarot for how your feelings are for a person or how a person's feelings for you, this is some really, really, really deep shit. And it's the type of deep shit you're going to need some cord cutting on. You're going to need to have the cords cut. You're going to have to need some spiritual work. It's not easy with a devil cord. It's not nice. This person wants to distance themselves from something that they know is real, something that they know is really deep. This is why I feel that the potential for a healthy relationship with you and this person, Virgo, is going to be a no. It's going to be conflict with the Five of Swords because this person finds it difficult with the Eight of Swords to express how they are truly feeling. And how they are truly feeling is, is that they don't want with that Queen of Swords energy to be bonded, to be trapped with the devil energy. So this person doesn't want, you can see how she's cutting out the devil. She puts her sword up. The sword up to the devil is saying, no, fuck off, keep out. So this person doesn't want with the Queen of Swords energy to be emotionally or any otherwise tied to you to a certain extent, Virgo, and that's the problem. Because you're in it for the long haul, that's the weakness, it's you. You are in it for the long haul. But it's a weakness because this person here with the King of Swords, while well, they're doing a lot of rationalization with that King of Swords energy, okay? They have decided, I feel, with this King of Swords energy that they need to be responsible. But also they are learning. I think the King of Swords here, this person that you're dealing with, is learning with the Page of Pentacles. They are assessing with that Page of Pentacles that perhaps they need to end a cycle because they're tired and feel the need to have some rest and distance themselves a little bit from the situation. And that's why the potential for a healthy relationship is a no with the Five of Swords because this person feels limited and cannot express with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords means I can't get things off my chest. You're holding things, especially when you get a tower. If you get a tower in the Eight of Swords, somebody's coming out with something they've not said in a long time. So this person cannot express with the Eight of Swords what they're truly feeling. What they're feeling is, is that they need to break a tie with the devil. They need to cut this karmic tie, cut it out because it's doing their heading. And also this person wants to have a cut. They want to detach themselves from something that they feel is really limiting and really bonding them and bounding them. But, you know, you get the devil and the two of cups, it's an emotional bond. This person is very bonded to you. You've definitely got a twin flame. There's a twin flame here for sure. 
This person is re you're really bonded to each other. This is your twin flame that we're looking at. You've got a twin flame, Virgo, in this individual. But you know what twin flames are. One of you is the runner, one of you is the chaser. I think you're the chaser, Virgo, and I think that this person is the runner in this reading. It's definitely a twin flame shit going on. The overall analysis of your relationship is the Six of Wands. And why is the overall analysis of this relationship between Virgo and this person the Six of Wands? Why is the overall analysis of Virgo and this person the Six of Wands? Show me. Because the Ace of Cups, this is love. Love in its purest. They, oh my God, see? You got Six of Rods again. Six of Rods again showed up. Can you see that? Because love, being open to love with the Ace of Cups could bring victory. If we got rid, this is probably the best reading I've done so far of this. Um, and I've done a few of them already. This is the best one I've seen. I love it. Oh God, I love it. And you know why I love it? Because it's like, um, you know, we get involved with people, don't we Virgo, you know, and we fall in love. And there's always, always, a lot of the time, some bullshit that gets in the way of somebody being with someone else. You know, there's always the bullshit of that. There's always a problem, the devil, always a fucking problem with having a relationship work out. Always bullshit. And the universe is saying, yeah, the overall analysis is you're meant to be six of wands. You guys could have success in this relationship. Why? Because love, if love was open, if the heart was open, if there were no obstacles, and if love could just come through freely, you guys would have victory. You've got two six of wands here. The cards don't lie. This is love at its purest that brings victory. The Six of Rods is also about recognition. So if somebody could recognise what their true feelings are and be open to expressing that. So Ace of Cups is all about the expression. It's when your heart is open. It's when you're receptive to love. So receptivity to love with the Ace of Cups could bring victory. But the problem is this person is not receptive. Whoever it is that you're dealing with is not receptive. I don't believe that they're receptive. Because the challenge, the obstacle to you guys having... This could happen if somebody was open to it. But there's the barriers in the way. So the final area is, what are the roadblocks you having a healthy relationship with this person? Well, it's the Ace of Pentacles. And why are the Ace of Pentacles in two cards, show me? Seven of Cups represents temptation, confusion and choices. And the Knight of Cups. This person might be confused. They might have several options for love. Because the Seven of Cups is all about several options. And the Knight of Cups is to offer love or for love. So this person might have several options in terms of who they offer their love to. So you might not be the only one. Alright. This person knows damn well that they're your soulmate. They know it. They know that they're your soulmate for sure. And they know that you're there, your twin flame. This person knows it, but they're denying it. And you know why they're denying it? Because a lot of people who know that this person is their soulmate, it is pure. They allow the material and they allow the, uh, um, the desire to take over what they know to be true. So some people, they don't want to give up their wild ways. They don't want to give up the idea of, but I want to go out there and I want to have a good time. And I want to do whatever I want to do. I know that this person is meant to be for me. But what if, you know, what if, you know, if I have to give myself to this person, then it means that I can't give to anybody else. And I think you've got somebody like this here with you. I know that this person might have been through a rough patch, which might have made them feel the way that they are. And I think that they're in search of something that is really true here because they have been through difficulties, Virgo. And that might be where they're so reluctant with you showing up here. But I think that they've got several options in terms of who they can offer their love to. Or they might be very confused about offering their love with the Knight of Cups energy here. Because they're worried about moving forward could end in disaster with the Ten of Swords. So they're worried that moving forward is going to end in disaster. So I think that this is more to do with... Uh, 
This is either that they've got several offers or several opportunities or several options in which they can offer love because moving forward in one direction with you will cause disaster with the Ten of Swords or they're confused, the Seven of Cups, about offering you love, Virgo, because they feel that moving forward with that chariot could end in disaster with the Ten of Swords. Um, and it might be that because they're going back to this, aren't they? Let's get this reading very quickly again. This was how does this person feel about you? This person right now, I feel, is at a distance. It might be a physical distance. It might be a mental distance. It might be emotional distance with that Eight of Cups energy. But it's because I feel with the High Priestess, I think they've been hiding their emotions. It might also be that they're hiding their feelings as well because Eight of Wands is about feelings and the High Priestess is about hi uh, hiding. So they might be hiding their feelings, okay? They might be in hiding the feeling that they need to make a judgment. They might be the High Priestess be saying, well, I'm hiding something here, but I know that I'm going to have to come out with this to Virgo and, and make a judgment, a final judgment on this situation. So this is why I think that they need to gain a perspective on the relationship. Also, this is communicating eight of wands, uh, a renewal. So it might be that this person with the high priestess isn't ready to communicate that they want to come back together with you, perhaps with the judgment energy. Uh, I think it's because uh, their weakness is the star in the reverse. And I think that they have a great deal of doubt. And the doubt is because of the Five of Cups. Okay, there's been sadness. Now, this could have been with you as well. So this isn't just somebody in their past. I think this could also be with you. The doubt could be, well, there's been a great deal of unhappiness because of the Knight of Swords. There's been a lot of drama in this relationship, a lot of arguments in this relationship. So this might be, for some of you guys, if you've been long-term with this person, you might have been having a whole heap of arguments with this individual. And this person's like, it might be that this person walked away for a little bit and they said, you know what, actually, I just need to take time out because the High Priestess, it might be, I need to use my intuition as to whether I want to kind of contact this person, the Eight of Wands, in about renewing the relationship with the judgment. So this might be somebody who's renewing something with you. Uh, because I feel that as an attribute, this person is very certain with the Four of Pentacles. They hold a great deal of values, okay, as an individual. And I think they're very protective of what their values are. And that's because of justice. It might be for some of you, uh, for some of you guys, this person might have gone through a divorce. Okay, that brought an ending with the death card. It might be with the justice card that there was a conclusion to a matter that brought an ending. Or if they lower their standards with the justice card, it's going to throw everything out of the window with the death energy. So I think that this person is very, very certain of what they're looking for and what they want. Now, whether they've been with you before and they're thinking to get back with you or whether it's a case of that this is a new relationship and it's based on somebody else who's hurt them in the past, I feel that they are very moralistic about what they want now. And I don't think that they're willing to swerve against what they've been through. What they've been through has taught them something and this is something that they're moving forward with. So it's going to be very, they're not very changeable as a person. They're very certain of what they want. How they see you is the Seven of Coins. They see you as somebody who is still waiting for them. And how they feel about you is the Seven of Coins. So they feel that they need to evaluate whether they want to invest, but they see you as somebody who will wait. And that's because of the Four of Swords. I think that they withdrew from this relationship. Okay. I feel that they withdrew from the Six of Cups. They almost kind of woke up from the fantasy as well. Because the Six of Cups can all be about the fantasy and illusion. And this can be kind of like, finally, I have my, you know, I've got my wake-up call in the way with the Four of Swords. But I think it's more to do with that they withdrew. So they, will, they see you as waiting here. It might be you withdrew from the children. They withdrew from the children. It might be that some of you guys have been married, there's children involved, and they went away and left the children. So they see you as somebody who will wait. It might be something to do with children, but also because they withdrew from the past or they withdrew from the relationship, okay? So <clears throat> also they feel that they need to contemplate this situation, seven of coins here, concerning you, okay? Because I think that they have also, they're either thinking or contemplating or wondering about the children maybe, or they're thinking about the past, contemplating the past. Can we get things back together the way that they were, that type of thing. Or it might be if, you know, this is something to do with somebody else, then maybe this person has been concerning you, their feelings are the seven coins. Do I want to invest in this person because I'm contemplating the four of swords, the past, maybe somebody who they loved very much in the past that hurt them. 
as far as you're concerned, Virgo, you are the Six of Coins. You see them as the Six of Coins. I think that you see them as somebody who has divided loyalties, somebody who only partially gives to you. And you feel the Six of Coins towards them. I think that you feel towards them, now I can only give myself, off myself partially. Maybe I should look at other people as well at the same time. Because I think that you have, with this Hermit energy, conceded and understood after a time of introspection that you are now worried about fully committing to this situation because you might be worried that in the future there will be problems or that this person's just going to block you out again. I think that the strengths in your relationship are nurturing, kindness, love. It might be children. It might be pregnancy. There's something that binds you with this individual. Okay, and it's on a very kind of loving and nurturing level. There is growth. There is health in this relationship. There is some form of healthy um, foundation that you can build this relationship on with that Empress energy, Virgo, because the hanged man in the reverse, I think that both of you are very much traditionalists, I think the hanged man in the reverse says, hanged man in the upright can always speak about somebody who's very much an individual, but in the reverse they, they tend to stand by what they feel is the right thing to do, so I feel the hanged man in the reverse is saying that, I think it's because you're both traditionalists that find it very difficult to kind of change your viewpoints on the way that things, you know, on changing, on doing stuff. I think that you're very much traditional in your idea of what a relationship is and what you both mean to each other with those two cards. I think there is also the reluctancy to be to give up this situation because four of pentacles means I hold on and I don't give up. So I think there's a reluctancy to give up on this situation with the four of coins as well with these cards. Uh, but the weakness is you. You're holding on to someone the Knight of Coins, you're still in it for the long haul. And the weakness is that card, it's you, Virgo, because I feel that this person, it might be an air sign you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I think that this person here has done an assessment with the Page of Pentacles energy that perhaps this needs to come to a natural end because I feel that they are very tired with the Seven of Pentacles and feel the need to take a break with the uh, Six of Swords. The potential for a heart relationship, Virgo, between you and this person is the Five of Swords. I feel that there will be conflict because this person cannot express how they truly feel. And I think that that is with this Queen of Swords. They don't want to entertain the idea of a karmic tie with you. I also feel that they feel the need to cut and break down uh, the devil the situation in which they feel there is a little bit of toxicity in this relationship, it's a bit negative, it's a bit cloying, it's a bit clingy, and it's a bit burdensome, and I think they want to cut and break that down, I don't think that they like the idea of that, there's something very strong that bonds you with this individual, but this person doesn't want that, I think they, they feel very limited and regimented by the whole situation, the overall analysis of your relationship, um, Virgo, is there could be victory, if somebody's heart was open, if the love was receptive, if there was receptivity in love between the both of you, you could have victory. If somebody's heart was open with the Ace of Cups energy, you could have victory. And the heart that needs to be open is the other person. The problem is, the roadblock to this relationship being healthy is starting or building this commitment with the Ace of Coins. Because I feel that this person either looks at other options for love, or they're confused about offering love because they feel that moving forward, proceeding forward in this way, will only lead to disaster. And that's what I'm seeing on that reading, guys, okay? So we're going to get some advice for you. This person does love you. They do care. But they've got problems. They've got some huge reservations going on. I don't detect a player at all with this person. They don't come across as being a player. They come across as being somebody who's really trying to think quite carefully about what they should do going forward. What is the advice that you have for Virgo on this reading? What is the advice that you have for Virgo on this reading? Show me. It says flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. So let's just go out there and have a good time because you, they obviously see you as somebody who will wait and you are waiting because you're there, you're the knight of coins but that's the wrong thing to do because it's showing you as a weakness. It's showing that you're weakness. You need to be this. You need to be saying, okay, I'm only going to partially invest and I'll look at others. Flirt. That's what you need to do. Um, and the final advice card that we have here for you, Virgo, on this reading is uh, the angel answers and let's have a look at what the angel answers have to say. 
So universe spirit, what is the advice that you have for the angel answers for Virgo? What is the advice that you have for Virgo on this reading? It says communicate clearly. So communicate clearly in terms of what you want. Okay, just communicate clearly. All right. You need to communicate with this person clearly and get the low down. I think you need to flirt with others. Don't just put all your eggs into one basket and communicate with this person clearly if you want clarity on what the hell's going on with them. All right, that's your reading, guys. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe and have a really fantabulous day. I'll be back with your single readings. Those single readings are geared towards people looking for love. Uh, and this will be, will you find true love in the next six months? Okay, speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.